Uh, a lot of folks thought we were done. We had said that October can still be a very busy month, and usually in October we tend to get developing storms a little closer to home, Caribbean, Gulf, or in the Atlantic just off the East Coast, and sure enough, the Caribbean. Now, where the storm is located right now, Delta is under very, very warm water. Not a whole lot of wind shear at the moment. There actually is some drier air just up to the northwest. It's not really impacting the center of the storm at the moment, so it is not really a big surprise that we have seen this intensification since earlier this morning. Winds are now at 70 miles an hour, which means Delta is on the cusp of becoming a hurricane, and that will happen by tonight. The storms that have been developing near the center continue to pulsate and form right near that center of circulation. So it is a very healthy storm, and it is a very well-developed storm, and that will continue as the forecast does call for it to become a hurricane as it approaches the Yucatan. If it does move over Cancun or even a large portion a portion of the Yucatan. This is pretty flat terrain, probably not going to influence the uh, circulation all that much. But what will be interesting to see is also while it's moving toward the Yucatan, the remnant circulation of gamma is still going to be nearby, and that may do something to the circulation. What a lot of the models are hinting at is it might actually kind of tug the storm more to the west, which is not what we want to see. And the trend has not been great for southeast Louisiana because the trend is still for the storm to make its way up toward central Louisiana, which would put southeast Louisiana on the worst side, the heaviest rain, the strongest winds. But also notice it would be a weakening storm. Now, I think the Hurricane Center at the moment is going a little bit more conservative on that weakening. Once it moves into the central and northern, especially Gulf of Mexico, water temperatures are in the 70s. That should help to really rapidly weaken the storm. Where it is right now, very deep, warm water. Once it gets into the Gulf of Mexico, especially Central Gulf, much cooler. And then just along the coastline, temperatures are in the low and mid 70s. The storm cannot maintain that strength with water temperatures in the 70s. Here is the steering over the next couple of days. Big ridge of high pressure is going to keep the storm moving generally toward the north and west and eventually start to make a turn toward the north. The big question is how strong is this high going to be? Because the models are indicating that the high actually kind of builds into the Gulf, which would keep it moving more to the west, which is not what we want to see necessarily, because if it does move more west, by the time this upper trough starts to deepen, it begins at turn more north and northeast, which again, to our west isn't great because it does put us on the worst side of the storm. If that upper high doesn't push as much into the Gulf, perhaps the storm turns much sooner. And that's why the margin of error still goes from the Texas uh, state line all the way past Pensacola, Florida. There is still a wide area of where the storm could go, but the way things are shaping right now, it's still looking like more of a central Louisiana and both the Euro and the GFS are indicating the same thing. They're in pretty good agreement right now. That's the trend. Again, we're still about four or five days out from a landfall potential. There is still a lot of time and as we've seen from all of our storms in the Gulf of Mexico, we will likely see new trends coming out of the models. The big question is exactly when does it make that turn? If it actually starts to make the turn before 90 degrees west, then it may keep it more to our east, which would put us on the drier side. But if what the models are saying is true and it makes that turn more toward the north beyond 90 degrees west, then it will definitely look more likely that southeast Louisiana will see some of those impacts. And as far as the impacts go, I'm not going to detail those right now because we just don't know. Rain and wind, certainly some coastal flooding, certainly, but exact numbers still very much a guess. Boy, the circulation associated with gamma very well present, but where are all the thunder? Thunderstorms south of Apalachicola, Florida. That is not a well organized storm. And for us, we've been under clear skies and it was a very pretty day today. Our computer model indicating we'll likely start to see a little bit more cloud cover increasing, but any showers tomorrow will likely stay more coastal in nature. We'll start to see some spotty showers by Wednesday and then obviously Thursday and Friday if the storm takes that track. Beautiful outside right now, a dew point of only 55 degrees. Very pleasant. It was another nice day today. Tomorrow, still very nice, although as we get more into late Tuesday, Wednesday, the humidity will be coming up. 70s and 80s outside right now with dew points only in the 50s and low 60s. It'll be another cool night tonight. And as we wake up tomorrow, 50s and 60s to start the day. A high of 83 degrees, few more showers, a little warmer, a little more humid. Again, we're going to be watching for those impacts from Delta for Thursday and Friday. The good news is the storm should be fast moving, so we ought to see improving conditions by this weekend. Let's hope so. Thank you, Chris. Well, 